The fourth Sunday of Easter, which we celebrate today, is known as Good Shepherd Sunday. And the reason why it is called Good Shepherd Sunday, because in all the three years, A, B and C, the reading is from chapter 10 of the Gospel of Mark, which is the discourse of Jesus as the Good Shepherd. In the Gospel text of today, which is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 10, Jesus speaks about two kinds of shepherds. And one he speaks about shepherds who are actually wolves in sheep's clothing, who are actually brigands, who are actually thieves, who are actually robbers. What do these come to do? These come, Jesus says, to lead the sheep astray. They come with their agenda of selfishness and they proclaim that same agenda to those who are willing to listen. They want to draw people by telling people that the more people have, the more they are. They tell people that they must accumulate and live only for themselves, that they must live selfish life, that when they keep on accumulating and have a lot of wealth and money, then they will get respect. They do not, however, tell the people that that respect which the people get, the honor which they will get, will lead to the greatest sin, and that is the sin of pride. But they lure people with the wealth of the world. They lure people with monetary things. They lure people with externals. And people are taken in. Because on the surface level, it seems so beautiful to keep having, to keep accumulating, to keep being not in need, but to have more than enough. And Jesus speaks of himself in contrast to the thieves and the brigands as the good shepherd. And this good shepherd wants to draw anyone who will come to him and listen to his voice. However, those who listen to his voice will know that he is calling them to all that enhances. He is calling them to all that makes them live life fully. And that is why John chapter 10 verse 10 is a favorite verse of mine and known popularly as, I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. In other words, the purpose of Jesus coming into the world was not to bring death, which is brought about through selfishness and accumulation and living a self-centered life. It is to bring life, which is a life that shares, a life that gives, a life that is not revolved round oneself, a life that does not think only of I, myself and me, but a life which is lived, reaching out in love. The Good Shepherd is the one who leads us to this life. And that is why Jesus can say that he is the way that leads to this life. In other words, he is inviting us to follow that way. What must we do in order to hear the voice of the shepherd? We need to open not only the external ears of our hearts, we need to open our entire being because we will keep hearing the voice of the thieves and the brigands and the robbers and those shepherds who want to lead us astray. We will hear them inviting us constantly through worldly values, the values of accumulation, the values of gathering, the values of selfishness. And in the din of that noise, in the din of those voices, we will hear if we are open and if we know in our hearts that the Good Shepherd will indeed invite us to values which give of oneself to values which will not focus only on the I, to values which will realize that a life really well lived 
is a life lived for others. Will you hear the voice of the Good Shepherd today? And how will you show that you have heard his voice?